Hi. Do you know, Isiolo Town, will be Kenya City in future? Let me geese, you don't know. Before we continue, like this video, share, and don't forget to subscribe. As we know first, Nairobi, capital city of Kenya, is not centrally located, but it's on the southern part of Kenya and a capital city of a country should be centrally located, which gives Isiolo town a boost to become a Kenya city in future. Apart from it be centrally, the LAPS project which is ongoing, is one of the major boosts, which will enhance it to become a city in future. LAPSEP project is one of the main project in Kenya because it involves two other countries. Lapset Corito project will totally change ECLO town in terms of urbanization. It has created jobs opportunities in the region and beside that, there are resort city which have been built already as part of the ongoing project as demonstrated. Via Garissa, branching to Moyale, the Ethiopian border, and to Nakodok, the South Sudanese border. It is a huge undertaking. The 738 km Isiolo Lokicha Nakodok corridor to the border with South Sudan has already begun, while the oil pipeline from Juba to Lamu is a godsend for South Sudan. It will give it direct access to the global oil playing field, creating job opportunities and stimulating enterprise for the people of South Sudan. Apart from the trunk infrastructure, the project includes international airports, resort cities, special economic zones, industrial parks, mineral exploration, and free trade areas to generate and harness economic and business activities for the corridor. It is an investor's dream, fully backed by government in the three countries and embedded in Kenya's Vision 2030, a crucial de-risking step for investors. In design and implementation, the three countries have also ensured sound environmental standards and utmost security of life and property. Land acquisition and investments are secure, not only by government, but also by the enthusiasm of the population. As a development trigger, LAPSET will impact the livelihoods of more than 250 million people. For South Sudan, it will consolidate the peace process in the country and build a solid foundation for sustainable growth. For Ethiopia, which has already invested in a six-lane expressway between the Addis Ababa and Moja section of the corridor, LAPSET will enhance the current bold political and economic reforms in the country. Kenya estimates that the core LAPSET projects will inject between 2 to 3 percent of the GDP into the economy and 8 to 10 percent of the country's GDP through attracted and generated investments. In LAPSET, the African Union's vision of a peaceful, prosperous, and fully integrated continent by 2063 has found the world. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.